Hi guys! In today's tutorial, we are going to make an amigurumi Santa Claus. So if you want to know how I did this, please keep on watching. Happy hooking! The materials that we need are the following. Red polyacrylic yarn. Skin toned yarn, black yarn, white yarn, and you can also use the normal yarn if you want to. You can also use cotton yarn, wool, acrylic, or polyacrylic. It's your choice. And then we are also going to use pipe cleaner. You can also use wires if you have. Toy stuffing, reading glass for dolls, scissor, needle, and safety pin as my stitch marker, and two kinds of yarn, 3 millimeter crochet hook and 4 millimeter crochet hook. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. First, we are going to use the skin toned yarn and then our 3 millimeter crochet hook. Now, we are going to make a magic ring. This is how I make my magic ring. And then chain off one now for round one we are going to make six single crochet inside the ring one two three, four, five, and six. Now, pull the tail to close the circle. Now, we are done with round one. And then at the end of the round, we are going to add our stitch marker. So in every end of the round, we are going to add our stitch marker because we are going to make a continuous round. So no need to make a slip stitch. Now, for round two, we are going to increase in each stitch. Increase means two single crochet in every stitch. One. Two. And then next stitch again increase. So we will be doing that all the way around. Again for round two we are going to make an increase in each stitch. So guys I'll get back to you once I'm done with this round. So at the end of the round we should have 12 single crochet. Now, round three, we are going to make one single crochet in the first stitch. And then in the next stitch, we are going to make an increase. So in this round, round three, our pattern will be one 
increase all the way around. So at the end of the round, we should have 18 single crochet. Now, round four, we are going to make two single crochet in the next two stitches. I mean one single crochet in the next two stitches. One. Two. And then in the third stitch, we are going to make an increase. So in this round, round four, our pattern will be to increase all the way around. So at the end of the round, we should have 24 single crochet. Now, round five, we are going to make one single crochet in the next three stitches. One. Two, and three. And then in the fourth stitch, we are going to make an increase. So in this round, round five, our pattern will be three increase all the way around so at the end of the round we should have 30 single crochet now round six we are going to make one single crochet in the next four stitches one two three and four and then in the fifth stitch we are going to make an increase so in this round round six our pattern will be four increase all the way around so at the end of the round we should have 36 single crochet now round seven we are going to make one single crochet in the next five stitches one Two, three, four, and five. And then in the sixth stitch, we are going to make an increase. So in this round, round seven, our pattern will be five increase all the way around. So at the end of the round, we should have 42 single crochet. Now we are done increasing. So next round, round eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, we will make single crochet all the way around for five rounds okay so guys 
I'll get back to you once I have my five rounds of single crochet. So at the end of the round, we still have 42 single crochet. Okay. Now we are done with our five rounds of single crochet. So next round, round 13, we are going to make five I mean, we are going to make one single crochet in the next five stitches. One. Two. Three. Four and five and now we are going to make invisible decrease in the next two stitches so in this round round 13 our pattern will be five decrease all the way around so at the end of the round we should have 36 single crochet now round 14 we are going to make one single crochet in the next four stitches one two three and four and now invisible decrease in the next two stitches so in this round round 14 our pattern will be four decrease all the way around so at the end of the round we should have 30 single crochet now round 15 we are going to make one single crochet in the next three stitches one two three and then invisible decrease in the next two stitches so in this round round 15 our pattern will be three decrease all the way around so at the end of the round we should have 24 single crochet and then I will add toy stuffing of cam. Okay. Now round 16, we will make one single crochet in the next two stitches. One. Two. and then invisible decrease so in this round round 16 our pattern will be to decrease all the way around so at the end of the round we should have 18 single crochet now round 17 we are going to make one single crochet in the first stitch and then invisible decrease in the next two stitches so 
So in this round, round 17, our pattern will be 1 decrease all the way around. So at the end of the round, we should have 12 single crochet. And I will add more toy stuffing off cam. Okay. Now we are done decreasing and also we are done adding the toy stuffing. So next step round 18 19 and 20 we are going to make six single crochet all the way around for three rounds so guys i'll get back to you once i'm done with my three rounds of single crochet so at the end of the round we still have 12 single crochet okay now we are done with our three rounds of single crochet and i'm at the last stitch so next step we are going to change yarns into red yarn get your red yarn this is how i change my yarns here so round 21 we are going to make one single crochet in the first stitch and then don't forget to cut the yarn And then in the next stitch, we are going to make an increase. And then don't forget to place your stitch marker at the last stitch there so in this round round 21 our pattern will be one increase all the way around so at the end of the round we should have 18 single crochet now round 22 we are going to make one single crochet in the next two stitches one two and then in the third stitch we are going to make an increase so in this round round 22 our pattern will be two increase all the way around so at the end of the round we should have 24 single crochet now round 23 we are going to make one single crochet in the next three stitches one two and three and then in the fourth stitch we are going to make an increase so in this round round 23 our pattern will be three 
increase all the way around. So at the end of the round, we should have 30 single crochet. Now, round 24, we are going to make one single crochet in the next four stitches. One. Two, three, and four. And then in the fifth stitch, we are going to make an increase. So in this round, round 24, our pattern will be four increase all the way around. So at the end of the round, we should have 36 single crochet. Now guys, we are done increasing. So next step will be the arm partition. So we are going to fold our work on this side where the stitch marker is. So it should be on the side, okay? And then, as you can see, this is the increase here. And then this is the last increase as well, where the stitch marker is. So fold like that. And then, as you can see, the increase here. So we are going to count four stitches on the right side. So this is the first increase. One, two, three, four. And then put your marker there. Again, one, two, three, four. And then on the left side, we will count again four stitches. Here is the increase. One, two, three, four. And then... Put the marker. So in total, we should have eight stitches. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, where the stitch marker is. And then next side. Here, now on the next side, again, this is the last increase where the stitch marker is. So we will count four stitches on the right side one, two, three, four. And then the other one here, the left side is only one stitch. So it means we are going to add three more single crochet. So in total, we have eight stitches. Okay. So five. Six, seven, and eight. This is like we are making one piece amigurumi body. And then place your stitch marker at the last stitch. there so let's count we should have eight stitches 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, we are going to make the body. So we will make six single crochet all the way around so we should have 20 single crochet okay let's count one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Nineteen and twenty, and then place your stitch marker at the last stitch. So here's the body, so that will be our round one. So we will make seven rounds of single crochet for the body, so it means we are going to add six more rounds of single crochet okay so guys i'll get back to you once i'm done with my eight rounds of single crochet i mean seven rounds again this is our first round of single crochet so we need to add six more rounds so in total we should have seven rounds of single crochet okay so I'll get back to you once I'm done with my seven rounds of single crochet. Now guys, we are done with our seven rounds of single crochet. So next step, we are going to make the leg partition. So first round, as you can still remember, we have... 20 stitches here for the body so now we will be divided into two parts for the leg partition so it should be 10 stitches in both partition so in first round we be, we will be working in the back loop only so this is the front loop and the other side is the back loop. So we will be working in the back loop only. So first we will be counting 10 stitches. Back loop only. So by the way, I already add the toy stuffing of cam. One, Two, three, four, 
3 4 5 5 6 7 8 Nine. Oops, sorry. Ten. So now we have ten stitches here working in the back loop only. And then for round 2 until round 15, we will be working in the both loops. So round 2, we will be working with both loops. Okay. So we will be working in the first stitch there. So again, round 2 to round 15, we will be doing single crochet all the way around for 15 rounds. And then after that, we will also do the same thing in the other legs, okay? So we, we will count first if it's also 10 stitches. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's all equal. So guys, I'll get back to you once I'm done doing my 15 rounds of single crochet. And I will also do the same legs of cam. Okay. Now guys, we are done with the legs. So next step, we are going to add the pipe cleaner. I already add the pipe cleaner in the other legs. So now I'm going to show you how I add the pipe cleaner. If you have wires or toy stuffing, you can also use that. It's up to you.
and then insert and then get your needle And then insert your needle here. So insert your needle in and out, in and out until the ho it closes the hole. And then cut the excess. So next step, we are going to add the arms. So again, get your red yarn. And then we will just remove this stitch marker. Get your crochet hook insert at the first stitch here Oops. And then chain of one. Now we will make single crochet all the way around. So we should have eight single crochet. So first single crochet we will insert here at, in the same stitch. So the chain one doesn't include in the count. one two three four five six seven and eight now we are done with round one so next round round two to round 10 we will make single crochet all the way around so we should have 10 rounds of single crochet and at the end of the round we still have eight stitches okay so guys i'll get back to you once i'm done with my 10 
rounds of single crochet. Now guys, we are at the last stitch. So we are going to change yarns using the skin toned yarn. And then now we will be working in the back loop only. Here. One, two, so first we will cut the red yarn. So again, back loop only. So as you can see, this is the front loop and the other side here is back loop so we will be working in the back loop only one two three Four, five, six. Seven, and eight. Now, next round, we will be doing the same thing, but we will be working in the both loops. So again, single crochet all the way around. working in both loops so guys i'll get back to you once i'm done with this round and i will also do the same process in the other arms okay so guys i'll get back to you once i'm done with both arms now we are done with the both arms so again next we are going to add the pipe cleaner if you have wires or toy stuffing, you can also use that. And then insert. It's the same method as what we did for the legs. And then get your needle and then insert back and forth, back and forth to close the hole. And then insert at the center. 
here. And then cut the excess. Now we are going to work with the front loop only. As you can remember, we were we work earlier in the back loop only. So now we are going to work in the front loop only. As you can see the loop here. That's the front loop. So we are going to start here. There. So get your red yarn and then your needle, your crochet hook. So here is the first stitch for front loop. There. Insert your hook in your yarn. Oops. And then chain off one. So chain one is not con is not included in the count. So now for round one, we are going to make single crochet all the way around, working in the front loop only. So first, we will be working in the same stitch here. Again, first chain is not included in the count. There, and then second in the next loop, front loop. So guys, I'll get back to you once I'm done doing the first round of single crochet working in the front loop only so at the end of the round we still have 20 single crochet now second round for the bottom of our of the polo shirt we are going to work in both loops there so again don't forget to place your stitch marker at the last stitch again single crochet all the way around for round two so at the end of the round we still have 20 single crochet okay now we are at the last stitch so next step we are going to change yarns to white yarn if you don't have this kind of yarn you can also use the normal white yarn so we will be working single crochet all the way around using this white yarn so first cut the red yarn Again, we will be doing single crochet all the way around using this white yarn and then fasten off, okay? So guys, I'll get back to you once I'm done with this round.
now we are done with the bottom of the shirt next will be the sleeves as you can see we also work earlier in the back loop only so now we are going to work in the front loop only like what we did here okay so again insert your hook and get and then get the white yarn and then single crochet all the way around so we still have eight single crochet So once you're done with this round, we will going to fasten off and then we will proceed to the next step. Okay? So guys, I'll get back to you once I'm done in both sleeves. Okay? Now guys, we are done with the arms and the legs. And then next will be the belt. So I already made the belt. I just made 21 chains and then single crochet from the second chain of the hook and then single crochet in the entire row. So at the end of the row, we should have 20 single crochet, okay? That's for the belt. And then for the shoes, I also done off cam. So... First, what I did was magic ring and then six single crochet inside the ring and then round two, increase all the way around. And then round three and round four, single crochet all the way around and then slip stitch and then fasten off for the shoes. Now, I have a Santa hat here for dolls i have a tutorial on how to make this doll i mean on how to make this santa hat for dolls so i will put the link down in the description box for your reference and i will also put all the written pattern in the description box now for the beard i also done doing the beard so for the purpose of this video i will just use this kind of yarn for the beard so it's easy for you to see so I'm going to use four millimeter crochet hook and then chain of 13 first slip knot and then chain of 13 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Now, single crochet from the second chain of the hook. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, 
8 9 10 11 and 12 and now for row 2 first chain of 1 and then turn your work and then we will make a decrease in the first one or in the two stitches we will make a decrease so now that's our first decrease and then we will make eight single crochet one two three four five six seven and eight Now again decrease and then again chain of one and then turn your work and then for round three again decrease I mean row 3 decrease and then single crochet in the next 6 stitches 1 2 3 four five six and then again decrease and then chain of one and turn now in this last row or fourth row we will be decreasing in the entire row one two three four and then chain of one and then fasten off that's what I did here for the beard of Santa Claus So you can also use double yarn using this white yarn and the other one. That's what I did here, okay? So now I'm going to sew the, the shoes and the belt of cam and then the face as well and the beard, okay? And the, this is optional. I will also add the glasses and the eyes okay 
So guys, I'll get back to you for the final look. Now guys, here is the final look of our Amigurumi Santa Claus. It's very easy to make guys. I hope you will give it a try. And if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And don't forget to click the bell button to be notified. Again, thank you for watching guys. Bye!